What is going on everybody? Today we're going to be showing you how to add a countdown timer on your OBS Xsplit or Streamlabs OBS. So the program that we're using is called Snaz, which is displayed right here and links will be in the description for any further references. Now before we begin, if you guys can do me one big favor is to hit that big red button that says subscribe, hit the post notifications every time that I upload a video or live stream, you'll be notified. Now when I do live stream, come through and say hi, or if you have any technical questions, let me know. I'll help out best of my capabilities. Like and also share um, this video everywhere on your social media. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get into it. So again, um, links will be in the description and once you get that downloaded, which will be down here It'll say download snaz. It's completely free. Everything is completely free in this video. So Once you get that installed and opened up, this is what it will display now for all you people who want to use the the timer for like a countdown if you are about to live stream this will work in your favor if you are a speed runner this will work in your favor or if you're like doing a gift giveaway like every five minutes i'm going to do a giveaway or something like that you know get creative everything's all about being creative so um how do we get this to work out here what we want is when you're doing your countdown Right here, if you click on this button, it'll give you the current time. And so you're gonna, when, as soon as you hit that live stream, are you going to be counting down from 10 minutes from now? Okay, so it's it was 13, 17, so it's gonna be 13, 27. Let's do 13, 28, just gives a little bit extra time. And you're gonna hit the start button, and this is what will display when you get that. So right here is the text file where we're gonna do a read from. So once we go towards our Streamlabs, OBS, OBS, or XSplit, we're gonna go to text, add source, and it's gonna be countdown, count down, hit done. And everything's all about user customization. Again, it's all about imagination. So read from a file, hit that, click browse, then search for that file. Basically just type in that, get rid of this right here, and it'll take you to your designated spot, which will show countdown.txt. So, okay, so the, the fonts are kind of plain and there's all this extra stuff that we don't want. Well, that's fine. What we could do is just get rid of, so this is a uh, days, H is for hours, M is for minute, S is for seconds. So I just want it to show for minutes. So there we go, we got rid of that. And it does it in real time. You can even bump up the, the minutes if you want. So see that, it, it does it in real time. You can even play a sound when it is done, if you really want to. So this program offers a little bit more um, in depth with other stuff. So if you want to show like for some reason, what is the specs of your computer and um, how much CPS usage or CPU usage you can, and um, you can add customized stuff. This program used to have like a Spotify where it shows what you're listening to. So I'll cover that in another video, but um, they used to have that in this program. So it's sad that it does not do that now. So um, as for another thing, if you don't like your current fonts, what you could do is go to the font dot com d a f o n t and let's um just go back to the landing page or the home page of it and you can search up any style that you want if they have it so right here um amigos that actually kind of looks like a cool font so it gives you like a little text preview so countdown count down and it gives you like a little preview of what it'll look like right here okay i like that so i'm going to download it and I'm gonna open up the zip, then just double click on the OTF and the TTF. So OTF, then you're gonna hit install. You know, it may take a second, then go ahead and close out of that and hit the install on this one. Oh, okay, so it's already installed. Okay, so that's fine. You, you don't have to re um, do it again. Sometimes it comes with multiple files with different um, type of styles of fonts. So it's called Amigos. So basically we close out of that and we go towards our um, our font here, and we're gonna go to properties, and we're gonna go to font, and this is where you can search it up. So it's called Emigos. Emigos. A M I. 
A M I. Okay. Um, awkward that it does not want to pull through. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and close out of this, and we're gonna open it back up because maybe it might need a refresh. Streamlabs OBS. And that's what we want. And this will take a second to come back into play. So it's always checking up for updates. Uh, make sure that you do update the program. I think sometimes updates are a conspiracy to break the code. So eventually this program is might not be free. Oh God, I hope not. Or not be free anymore. I hope it will still be free. So I just think updates just tend to break the code. Okay, so right there is Amigos. So right there is actually pretty good. Actually, it kind of looks... It kind of looks more horrible now, but you get the idea that we can mess around with fonts. Um, should we up the font? Will it look better with a bigger font? Uh, it, it, it looks a lot better with a default font, but you get the idea. So it's all about imagination and bringing that into light. So it's all about using your brain of how creative you can get. So I hope that this video will help out. I will do a video of how to play, how to show what song you're listening to if you're playing from like a Spotify or iTunes or even a VLC, some type of media player. All right. So. I'll see you guys in the next video. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. And y'all take care. Peace out. Thank you for sticking around. Please feel free to watch my other videos. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, follow my social media. If you're feeling generous, check out my Patreon or send in a donation of any amount with PayPal. It really helps out with post-production, equipment, food in my belly, and also continue making free content for you guys. Links in the description. Y'all take care, and thank you once again.